Welcome back to AgriJS. Today's question is leak code 127 word ladder. So given these two words, begin word and end word, and a dictionary words list, return the number of words in the shortest transformation sequence from begin word to end word, or zero if no such sequence exists. So in this example here, we have hit as our begin word, and we have cog as our end word. So we need to get from hit to cog only using the words list to get there. We can only update or change one of the letters within the word. So hit moves to hot, so we change the I to the O. Hot moves to dot, so we change the H to the D. Dot moves to dog, so we change the T to the G. And finally, dog moves to cog. And overall, that is five as the output. So like we said, we have to get from hit to cog, and we're only allowed to use words list, and we can only update from this value, one of the letters in here to one of the letters in here, right? So as we said, this will count as one within the sequence. Hit moves to hot. This is two, hot moves to dot, this is three, dot moves to dog, four, and finally dog moves to cog, which is five. So because this question is asking for the shortest transformation sequence, that would suggest to use breath for search, which means we will be using a queue. So for this solution, we need to actually convert this words list, which is an array, to a set. And the reason for that is it has 01 lookup. So we're going to have a set and it's going to contain all of these values, right? We're also going to have a queue. We're going to initialize our queue with the first value within the sequence or the first word within the sequence. So hit. And we also want to add the number at that sequence or the current count. So that would be one. And then we carry out breath for search. So we shift off of Q. Remember, we shift off of Q because Q is just a data structure that restricts the process in order of an array from first in, first out. Now, when we shift off it, we can look to see whether this value of hit is equal to the final value. It's not. So we need to do some additional logic, right? And this is where the difficult part comes into play. So what do we need to do? Well, we have hit here. We need to update one of its letters so that it corresponds to one of the values or multiple of the values within words list. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, we need to separate out the letters, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the letters of the alphabet and update each one of these letters to all the potential solutions within the alphabet. And then we'll compare that to what we have in words list. Well, actually what we have in set, right? Because this is O1 lookup, we'll find a solution, right? Hot is one solution, right? So hit can go to hot where we update only one letter. Now that we found this, we can add this to Q and we can also update the count, right? So at hit, it was one. We're going to update that to two here. So this has been seen. Now, before we move on to the next one, before we shift off of Q again, we've got to realize that at some point, say we get from hot to dot, when we get to dot, we're going to check again if dot can be updated by one letter to equal any other values within words list. So it could potentially go back to hot. So before we move on to this point, we want to stop multiple calculations and infinite loops. So we remove hot from the set. We delete it. Now we can shift off of Q. We can look at hot. A to Z again. We update each letter within hot to all the values from A to Z. And we find whether any of those values are within set. So hot can be updated to dot and it can also be updated to lot. So we can add those into the queue and update the count and then delete those from the set. Then we rinse and repeat. So I'll speed up this process. Can any of lots characters be updated by one to a word that is found within set, well, it can be updated to log. So we can add log into the queue. Update the count to four. Obviously, we've seen dot, we've seen lot. And before we shift off of Q, we need to remove log from the set. So now we can shift off of Q. Can log be updated? Well, it can be updated to dog and cog. So we add those two to the queue and we remove them from the set. Now, when we look at dog, it cannot go anywhere within the set. So this ends here. Obviously, we've seen log. Then we shift off of Q. We have cog. We make the check to see whether cog is the end word. It is. So we return count, which is equal to five. Time complexity of this one is going to be OM squared times N, where M is the length of each word, and N is the total number of words within words list. And then space is going to be the same. So when coding this out, we'll have a set, pass in words list so that we can look up in 01 time. I'm going to have a queue, which is going to contain begin word and one. 
and then we can carry out breadth of search. So while Q dot length, we shift off Q the current word and count. So that current word count equal Q dot shift. If current word is equal to N word, we can return count. So if we found the N word, we can just return the count. And this is where we have to look at each individual character and update it with every character from A to Z. So we're going to loop through where i is equal to zero, i is less than 26. So 26 characters within the alphabet. We're going to loop through j now. So j is less than current word dot length, j plus plus. Now in order to create a new letter anywhere from zero to 26, we need to use from char code. So from character code, and the number that we need is 97, right? So string from char code at 97 is going to be equal to A. And all we need to do is add I to that. So we'll go from A to Z. Then we just need to slice that in. So new word will be current word dot slice. So we're going to slice from zero to J. Then we're going to insert that letter. And then we're going to, and then we're going to add the rest of current word to this new word. So J plus one. And if this is found in set, so if set has new word, we add to the queue that new word. So we push in new word and we update count to plus one. Then in order to remove duplicate calculations and an infinite loop, we need to remove that value from set. So set dot delete new word. And then in the case where we don't find a path or a sequence from begin word to end word, we just return zero. Let's give that a run. Submit it. And there you go.